Welcome to Jordan Valve Maintenance Videos. This is a Mark 68G disassembly and rebuild. These are the tools you will need. Plastic or rubber mallet, spanner wrench, socket and wrench, anti-seize compound, and Loctite 567 pipe dope. These are the items included in the repair kit. A stem, plug assembly, seat orifice, and new diaphragm. Okay. This is the disassembly of the valve. Remove all the pressure on the range spring by backing out the adjusting screw all the way. Remove the bolts that hold the spring housing on. Remove the spring housing, spring seat, spring, and diaphragm assembly. With the rubber mallet, tap the body until it loosens up from the bottom cage and remove the body. We are now going to remove the seat from the body. Place the body back in the vise and with your wrench and socket remove the seat from inside of the body. Now we are ready for the rebuild of the valve. Take the new seat, put a little bit of anti-seize compound on the threads, then take the PST pipe dope and put a little bead in the corner right underneath the threads. Set the seed into the body and hand start the threads. And with your socket and wrench, thread in completely and tighten. To replace the diaphragm and the stem, place into the vise and remove the upper diaphragm assembly from the stem. Place the assembly back into the vise and with the spanner wrench remove the lower diaphragm plate. Place the new diaphragm on the upper diaphragm plate. Put a small drop of Loctite 290 on the threads of the lower diaphragm plate. Thread together and tighten up with a spanner wrench. Take your new stem, 
put a small drop of Loctite on the threads and thread all the way into the lower diaphragm plate. Flip over the assembly, tighten the vise on the stem, and just hand tight until you know it's tight all the way in. Take your lower cap or cage assembly, put this into the vise. Take your new plug, place over the return spring, making sure that it does not bind. Take some anti-seize and coat the threads on the bottom of the cap. And then take your pipe dope and put a small bead in the corner underneath the thread. your body assembly, place over the cap, thread it on until it bottoms out, place your new diaphragm assembly in, rain spring, spring seat, and spring housing. and tighten the bolts. And then using an air gun or a socket and wrench, tighten the bolts tight. Run the adjusting screw in until you feel resistance from the rain spring. Taking your rubber mallet, tap on the body until it's tight. Then you can back off your rain spring a little bit. And you have now rebuilt the Mark 68G. If you have any questions about this video, please email us or contact us at the phone number listed on the screen. Also be sure to visit our website www.jordanvalve.com for more information. Thanks for watching.